That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. I know you're in here turning into a villain, but... Nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Hex Crank. Welcome back. This is Cole here with more of The Walking Dead Season 2. Picking up with Season 4 as my cat gets the zoomies and you can hear her yelling in the background. Do not believe her lies. I gave her plenty of treats before I started. Anyway, Episode 3 was crazy. But I don't need to recap it here. The game will do that for me. Let's uh, let's see what happened previously on. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, Sarita. Didn't bother him. I'm going after Sarah. Luke. Uh, God damn it, Nick. Kenny. Yeah, I gotta re-up on the goo. Stop. Oh my God. I can't find anybody. Who? 
We go to the meeting spot. I can't do this alone. We can't stay here, Rebecca. We need to keep moving. Look, the walkers are still moving toward the harbor store. We can make it out if we stick to it. I'm glad you're here. We can watch each other's back. I'll stick with you. Thank you. The defensive line. Jane! Jane, thank God. Stop. Relax. You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. Just blend in and be cool. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just you think we should spread out? We'll spread out. You said you would stay with me. Well, <laughs> maybe we should listen to the person who's been here before. I need you to get her attention. Hey, over here. You're not going to bite anybody now, are you? Follow me. Popped her jaw off like a Lego. If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. Hey there, Deliratons. Who made it out? How we get so clean? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Well. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus, I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? I think we'd know. We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? Don't worry. We're okay. We'll meet up with everyone soon. We'll at least be safe, I guess. We need to keep up a good pace. I know. I know. Just... I'm going as fast as I can. Just pace them to your contractions. That way it'll go faster and faster. Stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. It was his choice. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, 
We could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Deliratan asks if this is my first time playing through Alan season was two. To be here for this. Is Alvin? He's dead, is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. Um, I have not played through all of season two. I think I've gotten to the end of this episode, and then I just kind of let it drop. So see, episode five that? will be new to what me. What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry, just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean, it's going to need food, and, you know, other stuff. Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless, and you can't protect it. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself, doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were- She died? I don't need your pity. You hey, don't. Hey, Becca? You don't have the right. Jane! <laughs> Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? Oh, damn it. Yeah, way to burn your bridges, Becca. Okay, we have Mike and Bonnie. Nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Well. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. Rebecca might have the baby soon. She needs someplace safe to, to do that. <laughs> oh no. Soon? Soon? It's what it seems like. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot. No way we can stay here long term. I told you. That's why we're waiting. And as soon as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. What does Kenny want to do? Well, I think Kenny wants to die. So. I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I've seen Kenny like this before. Do you think he'll, I don't know, snap out of it? Well, last time he was like this, I think Lee punched him and then they drank together. I don't know. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to him. Give him a hand. Ooh. Okay. So, Rita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. We need your help to figure out a Grow plan. The fuck up and look around you, Clementine. 
Take a look at how our last plan worked out. There ain't some boat, or some train, or some other bullshit out of this one. Don't you think you've already done enough for today? I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Hey guys, it's cool not over here. Last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? <laughs> you heard? At least you tried. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. I thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them. One way or the other. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Yeah, Kenny's looking kind of Kubricky. Look, I'm gonna level with you. I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there for a bit. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. Well, then why'd we come out here? I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. They're not bad people. But there have been problems before. I don't always agree with what they say or do. Neither do I. Look at Kenny. I don't even know where to begin with what a liability he is. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. Oh, I see. Yeah. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just... friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently they weren't walkers, were they? Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Just open them like an Amazon got. package. I'll check this one. Hold on to them. Memo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. smart haircut thanks so has your crew always been so dysfunctional all of them have there, but you weren't like them it makes me wonder it's never easy but I don't really know how it's supposed to be that's it a nail file these things are great Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. Could jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Steve Ho. Oh, it's Sarah's glasses. glasses. They're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but. Get off! Sarah! God damn it! <laughs> Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Nick. Oh, no. God damn it, Nick. It's Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this.
all right. It's done. If it comes to it, if Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? I know. I've done this before. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. <laughs> How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. what you're doing. Now watch this. Get away! Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Tara, I'm not... Take out the knees first. Then, put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Alright, let's get a look at what we've got on no! deck. Smart. Can't help you if you. I can't help you if you don't. Glad you're paying attention. Where are you? Daddy? It's gonna take some work to get over there. Let's see if we can find anything over there. Not like this. You can't do this. There's too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. Hey, girl. We can't stay here. Hi, honey. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Wait. We don't want to make any noise until we've dealt with those guys. Hey girl. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? I got you covered. Just get it together. Sarah, listen! Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Hmm, maybe there's something I can lay down on it in the truck bed. Why are you being like this? Just listen to me. Yeah, it does look pretty strong. Hmm. Just get 
What are you thinking? If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Yeah. Give me a hand. <sighs> <sighs> Gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. This. Hurry! Sarah, please. Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. I heard y'all banging through the door. We gotta get moving. I'll second that. Well, I would have left already, but I, I got Sarah here, and I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look, look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you that they're okay. Sarah, come on. We have to go now. What's she doing? Can you get up? I don't know what to do. I can't snap Yeah, she's kind of tonic. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then, while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for it. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, TikTok. What are we going to do about her? We gotta do something. What if we help her to her feet and just get her moving? No, no, it, it's not gonna work, okay? She freaks out anytime you get near her. Listen, I, uh, they're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay, so we, we gotta get her up or, or we gotta. Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? It's me. Hi. You helped me when we first met. Now I want to help you. Maybe it seems like you're all alone right now, but you're not. Yes, I am. What about Luke, and Jane, and me? We came here because of you. All of us in the group. We're your family now. <laughs> Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time! Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. 
He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. We could have stood on Sarah, but... Can we use this? It's not big enough. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> On three. One, two, three! I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. You did good getting out of there. Now you gotta keep it up. But I'm not okay. Just don't let me down. Please. She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. Yeah, she's not long. I don't know about this. Not long for this world. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. And even if she won't live, I have to live for you know live with myself, I just, right? I can't believe it. 
As soon as you guys in? said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Well, Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Also, Jane was the one who sent him well, sent him up first. It. So, I dragged my sister across four states, and every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof, and, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building wow. over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. See, and you left her, and it, it killed still kills you. Time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way, too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. She's a different person. <laughs> Come on. Let's get back to your friends. I really like what they do with Jane. Introducing her as somebody who's real sensible. But then you spend enough time with her to understand that she... She has her own biases and her own, uh, son of a bitch, her own baggage you found him. Yeah, that makes I'm her not as reliable as she seems. Tell you the truth, if it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait, where's Nick? Uh, Rebecca, how about we uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about too. No, no. <laughs> Was Rebecca that attached to Nick? I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? <laughs> okay, which one of you took your eyes off Kenny? He went in there after you left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. We need your help with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. No rest. You can't just hide in here, Kenny. There are people here depending on you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. 
Oh, I, 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 I should have brought cut covered dish. I didn't know we were throwing a pity party. Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. Hey, dude, I've given <laughs> you. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. Now, I know you're in here turning into a villain, this. but it's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. It looks like it must hurt. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. How does it feel? It feels like she's wet. about to have a baby. That's how it feels. <laughs> What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trample like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water Eye on the price. And blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah, you just, just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Keep on rocking. Clem. I know it must have been hard, but... Thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, if she's she gonna go, like she's gonna go. Much, and she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I don't know if Jane will come back. I think she's scared about the baby. That's what I was afraid of. That's why it might be a good idea to have you go with her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. Oh, hey. Hey. What are you doing? Getting lost in thought. Not the safest habit to have these days. Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break.
Old Miss don't trust nobody. All of a sudden. Check this out. A skate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Okay, get two crescent wrenches. This might work. You think this thing still works? <laughs> <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Yeah, it's plugged. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Find anything? No, not even trash. Hmm, can't even get back in there. Let's use the telescope and see uh, if we can spot anything. It's broken. Got a quarter? Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Uh... Keep mind, Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. <laughs> okay, let's surprise him. Just a kid, please don't hurt me. Do you understand me? Yes. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone, especially Malinka Devochka, uh, little girl. Jane, he has a gun. <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. Well. <laughs> Clem, make sure oh. he doesn't have any other weapons in there. How many heads he got, Arvo? No, I have no more guns. I swear. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh... I need to keep it... I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, 
We could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you you take my sister's medicine? You are worry. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bush. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? We should go get everyone else. Yeah. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place open. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Look at that observation, Dick. I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. Jane took his gun and scared him off. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep, that's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Yeah, he always tries to do the right thing. But he's not the same anymore. No, I disagree with that. He's still the same. <laughs> he's always been like that. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. 
in the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's going to be a girl. Oh, yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. <clears throat> Yeah, Kenny is he's codependent at least and borderline at worst. Like he's not a he's not good. Not that I'm an expert or anything, but as far as media is coded, that's what I see in him. Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go <laughs> back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Mike's good people. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Empty. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, good point. All these ones say Bort anyway. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. Lee would have loved this place. Being a history professor and all. They're sure. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. <laughs> I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know... Uh... Well, we're we gonna tear it up. Back in a Confederate coat. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. We would have loved this place. Oh, yeah, that's what I just said. No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. Well, the world's now. a graveyard. You're in a graveyard all the time. <laughs> God yeah, damn it. <laughs> Why do they keep on writing the things I say? <laughs> I 
Nothing but junk in there. Trust me. No, I don't. I, I didn't strip. I didn't script this game. I think I'm just in tuned into its cliches. Oh, here. dang. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. Yeah, bottled water goes bad. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough... <laughs> God could damn maybe it. Maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right. Hey there, Andrew. All right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. <sighs> I'm stuck. Okay. Maybe I push from... Uh-oh! <laughs> Well, that happened. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. Mm, we're not gonna eat raccoon. I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. <laughs> not like, I mean, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Uh, it also has parasites. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. Over here! <laughs> yeah, no, oh, I know that. Oh, shit! Shoot! Dang it! <laughs> Not with the walkers out there. <laughs> that raccoon looks so funny. <laughs> Aww. I'm even hungrier than I was before. Yeah, those those kids would have made good side dishes. How did I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, at least it was kind of fun. Yeah. Huh. I guess it was. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. <laughs> Andrew says, I'm late. How's Clem's jacket clean again? Eh. Nylon clean's me pretty your good. Ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. Shit, shit! Oh god! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Clem! Clementine! Shit, walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've gotta do something. 
you just keep that baby safe. Kenny, <laughs> we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Mike, the water. On it. Sarah, let's go. He just needs to rampage a bit. He'll be fine. Clem, I, I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that... That isn't... I don't think he's okay either. This is bad. Kenny! Jane got in. It was about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what... Clementine! G Jesus, Clem, it's just not... Um... Jane? What? Clem, listen. Uh... Wait, what's going on? In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. The walkers are right behind us. We have to keep them from getting up here. There's still the stairs. No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to help. Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come! Here. We can't let them up here. There are too many of them. They're gonna take the deck down. They are not getting up here! Oh, that cable gonna snap. Find something to block this gate! Help us! We could block the gate with this! I'll help, I'm coming! Uh-oh. Together! Ready? Oh shit! Holy fuck! What the fuck is going on out there? About to be victims of BC. Oh, shit. Balcony collapse. And Sarah's down. Jane! Sarah, hang on! Fuck, fuck, hurry! I can't hold on! Uh, uh, help me! Uh, Clem! Uh, Come on! Take my hand! No! 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 There's nothing we could have done. We could never have gotten her up here. I know, but I wish it could be different. Push! Oh shit. They're climbing up. What? They're gonna make it up here. Fuck! Does this shit ever end? Cut the other cable. Can we drop something else on them? Nothing that will stop them. Maybe we can drop the whole deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. Crap. Look. That'll work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. Hey there, Deep West. They're getting closer. Clementine! Move it! Come on! I'm going as fast as I can. Watch it! Son of a bitch! Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> they can't pathfind, so they stop. Oh. oh no. Well, we can't stay up here forever. Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's the perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? Well, what are we going to do now? We can't stay here, can we? I've got to rest. It's getting colder. Clementine, I can't think about that right now. We'll think of something, just not this second. <coughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? I don't know how. It's easy. Just keep him close and support his head. There you go. You're a natural. Look at you, like a big sister. <laughs> Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's got to watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. I'm sorry. I've got to go. Go? Go where? Just... away, okay? You know, Jamie, Sarah... I'm not gonna stick around and... watch it happen to you two. You know the score. You're a smart kid. I'm not like them. No. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Well. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. And when push comes to shove, you'll see. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Do you think it's sensible to run Here. away from grief when it's inside you? Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. Hey, 
Thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? I guess we all got stuff on our minds. <sighs> the temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit... Childish? God damn it, Jane. You know what? Just... Lay off! No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers! Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? You guys are both acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine, but this baby, he's what matters now, got it? So get your shit Jenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. Whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. Jeez, oh Pete, Ken. We should have left right away, instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. You're not helping anything by arguing. Well, don't forget you agreed with me about waiting to leave camp until today. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, here. It's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Uh, he's okay. 
I've got him. No. You rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't Shh. being weird about it. Yeah, you kinda have been. He's not your baby. I was just trying to help. Hello? What is this? Arvo? 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 Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. Huh. All right. Hello. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. How is your sister doing? Sister? Not so good. I need, uh, uh, things for... bandages. I need bandages. Are you... hurt? No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Fuck! Well then. Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол и что вы забираете. Russian guy with tattoos. Not. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у их не. We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed. And they want you and your friends to put down the guns so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? No, you aren't taking anything from us. They're not telling me to ask. So what is Josh? I wish we could have met differently, Clementine. You were kind. That is not common. What is that? Delir Tan asks if I'm role playing or if I or if I really did think that uh, Arvo had a uh, sick sister. Arvo, uh, yeah, I did think he had a sick sister. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. We have a baby. You have a baby with you? When you create Nishko with a baby. Yeah. Puriko, atadie! Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking Please. shoot it! I'll do it! No, Drop it! Drop it! Don't fucking... Don't move! I said don't move! They don't want to die yet. He's leaving. Uh, guys? Um... Puriko, Puriko, wait! Stop your hand! You don't want to do it! Oh, I forgot about this. Ooh, boy. Look at me! Do you hear me? No! <sighs> wow. Okay, that's uh, that's something. <laughs> I hate to wait a week <laughs> to finish this. Um. Okay, so looking at the numbers here, pragmatism. Fifty. Was okay. Slight majority. I was in the slight majority on all these except for shooting Rebecca. Left Sarah at the trailer park. I did not leave Sarah at the trailer park. There we go. Um, I did not rob Arvo. Uh, yeah, Rebecca was turning. She she had turned. She died and turned very quickly. Um, selflessness crawled through the ticket booth. Yes, held the baby. Huh, that's weird. Weird thing to do is the choice, and then, um, huh, the majority of people chose not to shoot Rebecca. Yeah, no, had to save that kid. Even though that is a very Kenny-like thing to do, make the decision, <laughs> and then, ah, we'll, we'll improvise out of this. 
Um, we'll see if that has a... Oh, they're not doing a next time on. Yeah, because that would uh, that would give away too much. Cool. Well, thanks everybody uh, for tuning in. Sorry, I didn't talk too much this time. I was I was actually pretty invested in what was happening there, and only a little bit, uh, <laughs> only a little bit inspired funny quips. So, um, if you're watching on Twitch or YouTube, you know what to do to help channel you to help content to help content makers on both of those channels i don't need to belabor this um i'll be back next saturday or no next friday 8 30 p.m but hope everybody has a good week i'm gonna finish up um this season of the walking dead uh, and then on saturday i'm gonna do that um indie horror game mixtape thing that came out looking forward to getting to that take care everybody have a wonderful time